The fundamental benefit of cruise missiles over ballistic missiles is that they are less expensive, smaller, more precise, and easier to develop. They are undoubtedly versatile, having the ability to be used for both precision conventional strikes and nuclear missions. Now, with the advancement in technology, major powers have been racing to develop advanced cruise missiles, some of which are hypersonic. So today, let's check out the upcoming 10 deadliest cruise missiles of the world. So firstly, we have the AGM-183 air-launched rapid response weapon. This is a hypersonic cruise missile manufactured by Lockheed Martin to be used by the United States Air Force. The AGM-183 has a claimed maximum speed of Mach 20 and an operational range of about 1,600 kilometers or 1,000 miles. The weapon uses a boost glide system, on which it is propelled to hypersonic speed by a rocket on which it is mounted before gliding towards a target. This hypersonic missile will be deployed by bombers such as B-1, B-2, and B-52 as well as the upcoming B-21 Raider. South Korea's Agency for Military Development and Defense firm Hanwha recently unveiled a prototype hypersonic cruise missile. The missile, known as the Hi-Core, is equipped with a two-stage rocket booster. This move comes just months after North Korea tested its weapons. It is all set to begin flight testing in 2022 and enter service in mid-2028. The missile, which resembles Boeing Experimental X-51 Wave Rider hypersonic weapon, is a ground-launch cruise missile launched from Transporter Erector Launcher, similar to the U.S. Army's forthcoming long-range hypersonic weapon. Up next, we have the SM-6 ground-launch cruise missile. The US GLCM is a variant of the standard missile SM-6 intended to fill the gap between the precision strike missile and the long-range hypersonic weapon. In November 2020, Lockheed Martin was awarded a 339 million contract to produce the missile by 2023. The SM-6 GLCM has the capability to swat down air-breathing threats such as aircraft and cruise missiles over great distances while also having a terminal ballistic missile defense capabilities. The FCASW program, which stands for Future Cruise or Anti-Ship Weapon, is led by European missile pioneer MBTA. This is intended to replace the air launch scalp or storm shadow anti-ship missiles as well as the air and ship launch Exocet and Harpoon anti-ship missiles that are presently in use by the French and British Air and Naval Forces. The FCASW might be built on a stealthy with a long range and a large payload. This heavy, maneuverable missile could serve as a basis for land and sea launch cruise missile, anti-radar missile, and even heavy air-to-air -air weapon. In March 2016, Lockheed Martin began analysis on an enhanced wing design to further increase range. The corporation was granted a contract in September 2018 to produce an extreme-range variant of the AGM-158. This is called the JSSMXR, formerly known as the AGM 158D. The weapon would weigh around 2,300 kilograms and have a range of 1,900 kilometers with a 910 kilogram payload. At a unit cost of $1.5 million, the missile features a new missile control unit changes to the wings, a different paint coating, and electric safe and arm fuse, a secure GPS receiver, and program protection requirements. Up next is the BrahMos-2, which is a hypersonic cruise missile being developed in collaboration between India's Defense Research and Development Organization and Russia's NPO Machine Australia. It is expected to have a range of 1,000 kilometers. Its top speed will be double that of the current BrahMos-1, and it has been described as the fastest cruise missile in the world with a speed of Mach 8. The missile will be powered during the cruise stage of flight by a scramjet air-breathing jet engine. It is expected to be installed in fourth-generation multi-purpose Russian naval destroyers. Up next is the maritime strike Tomahawk. 
This is a modified variant of the tactical Tomahawk land assault cruise missile designed to destroy surface ships at ranges of up to 1,600 kilometers. The missile's principal mission is to keep the Chinese Navy surface force at bay in the South China Sea. It will have increased navigation and homing capabilities, allowing it to take out targets at vast ranges with exceptional effectiveness. By 2023, the U.S. Navy plans to deploy the new missile onboard surface ships and submarines. The hard target kill variant will be equipped with an upgraded warhead capable of eliminating densely built enemy assets. Up next, we have the ASN 4G. France is developing the ASN 4G medium range hypersonic cruise missile to replace the ASMP supersonic cruise missile. The aim is to design a missile capable of either a high supersonic of Mach 45 or hypersonic speeds of Mach 7 to 8. The ASN 4G could be carried by the Rafale fighter jet, and the requirement is for a missile range much greater than 1,000 kilometers. The missile, together with the Navy's ballistic missile submarines, will equip the F 4 model of the Rafale fighter as well as the future combat air system vehicles and comprise one of the two legs of the French nuclear diet. The AGM-181 LSRO Raytheon Technologies' AGM-181 long-range standoff weapon is a nuclear-armed air-launch cruise missile that will replace the AGM-86 ALCM. According to Defense News, the USAF may purchase more than 1,000 LSRO missiles, which are expected to have a range of more than 2,400 kilometers. The long-range standoff weapon will be launched from a variety of aircraft, including the B-52 and the Northrop Grumman B-21. The goal of the LSRO program is to create a weapon capable of penetrating and surviving integrated air defense systems while also pursuing key targets. It is expected to achieve initial operating capability in 2030. Last but not the least, we have the Zircon. This is a hypersonic cruise missile currently in production by Russia. The missile's range is estimated to be 250 to 500 kilometers at low altitude and up to 740 kilometers in a semi-ballistic trajectory, but the average range is 400 to 450 kilometers. The Zircon can travel at a speed of Mach 8 to Mach 9, and this has led to concerns that it could penetrate existing naval defense systems. Because it travels at hypersonic speeds through the atmosphere, the air pressure in front of it generates a plasma cloud as it goes, absorbing radio signals and rendering it almost undetectable to active radar systems. In flight, Zircon shares information and may be controlled by commands if necessary. Zircon will be first deployed with the Kirov class battle cruisers. And that's all from the Buzz for today. Don't forget to hit that notification and subscribe button for more videos from the Buzz.